US military wants to create cyborg soldiers. The US military is working to create a chip that can be implanted in a soldier's brain to connect it directly to computers that can deliver data on an enemy's position, maps and battle instructions. Tech Resume Makeover IT Resume Makeover How your older experience can get you hired. You've probably heard about the rules of resume writing and why you should throw out years of Read now. The implanted chip would essentially create soldier cyborgs that would be safer and better fighters. Today's best brain computer interface systems are like two supercomputers trying to talk to each other using an old 300 board modem, said Philip Helgelder, manager for DARPA's neural engineering system design program. Imagine what will become possible when we upgrade our tools to really open the channel between the human brain and modern electronics. DARPA announced this week that it formed the new program to develop a neural interface, a system working at the intersection of a biological nervous system and a device, that would create unprecedented signal resolution and data transfer bandwidth between the human brain and the digital world. Think of the neural interface as a translator that would turn digital signals into electrochemical language that the brain can read, and vice versa. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, focuses on emerging technology for the military, wants the neural interface to be no larger than one cubic centimeter, with the volume of two nickels stacked back to back. There are already some neural interfaces approved for use with humans, but they've proven to be imprecise and provide a user with a cacophony of information, more like noise than helpful data. DARPA said it wants to improve the technology so the system that can communicate clearly and individually with any of up to one million neurons in a specific region of the brain. For years now, industry players have said that mixing biology and machines is going to create the most powerful technology in the future. More than six years ago, an Intel researcher said that computer chips implanted in people's brains will control computers, eliminating the need for a keyboard and mouse, by 2020. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.